as we know, uh, Datuk Sri Liao Tiong Lai has responded to some of our allegations on the Kedai Rakyat Satu Malaysia food products. Um, one, he has uh, considered the fact that the oyster sauce was below regulatory limit for protein, so that's fine. And uh, items has been withdrawn. Uh, Sadar Chong will have some issues to add on the oyster sauce later. Okay, but putting the oyster sauce aside, he actually said that all the other items that we have raised are non-issues. That means there's nothing wrong. Okay, there's nothing wrong. Um, of the items that other items that we have raised includes uh, fruit jam, ice cream, uh, evaporated milk, uh, sweetened creamer, sardine tins curry chicken tin, and the one Malaysia growing up milk powder. So these are the items that we have raised that he has said tak ada masalah, okay, dengan produk-produk ni. Now, we dispute his finding. In fact, we are shocked by his finding. I'm shocked because some of the breaches of the regulations are so blatant and obvious, he couldn't have not seen it. Okay, but there's no point for me to ding dong, ding dong. That means uh, he hold one press conference, then I hold one press conference, then he holds another press conference, and then reporters in between blur a bit. You know, who says which one is right? Okay, so what I've done, what I've done is we have written a letter uh, to the Minister of Health. We have faxed it this morning, requesting an open dialogue. Okay, you can distribute the copies of the letter. An open dialogue, meaning from my side, from our side, uh, YB Iza, Dr. Zul, and myself, together with him and his wh whoever officials he wants to bring, so as to explain this issue, and open to the press. Okay, so that the press can see the process themselves. Don't have to listen to my statement and listen to Liao's statement and then get confused. Okay, so it's open. We will go through the items one by one. And then we decide whether I made a mistake. If I did, then I'll apologize for it. Or the minister was too quick in saying that they made no wrong. They did no wrong. Okay, so we have asked for a meeting anytime on Tuesday next week. He set the time and venue. We prefer it to be in Parliament since all of us will be in Parliament, but he can set the time and venue for next week on Tuesday. Even if he cannot make Tuesday, he can suggest an alternative date for us. We'll do our best to make our way there. Okay. Okay. So this is what we will do in order to resolve the outstanding items which we continue to dispute some of the findings made by the Ministry of Health. Okay, so we'll bring all necessary documentation so that we can compare and contrast notes on the spot. Um, I think Dr. Australia was a bit uh, mischievous in saying that no, Tony Pua and gang uh, should come and consult him first before making these allegations because we are not food experts or are not experts in this field. But perhaps I'd like to let him know that we are not doing this alone. All our allegations are substantiated, one, in the law, and two, we also have food consultants advising us on what is right and what is wrong. And this follows to the next item I want to raise, which is the um, milk powder. So the only item that I will rebut openly today is the milk powder finding because that's the most serious. Okay? He says the one Malaysia milk powder is safe. This is as per the Star Report, November 24, 2011. Okay? KR1M milk powder is safe. This is the growing up milk powder. First page. Actually, the uh, two points I want to raise. Number one, if you look at the... The health minister's statement, he essentially said that I referred to the wrong law. 
he said that I referred to um, 389A, if you look at page 2, the second page, flip over, second page, follow-up formula. Hmm? Yeah, reg, reg, food regulations, 1985. 389A, follow-up formula, second page. He, I referred to this for the growing up milk. Okay, now follow-up formula shall be food intended for use as a liquid part of winning diet for an infant from six months and for children. That means six months onwards. Young children, six months onwards. Okay, uh, which have been proved suitable for infants and the six months and for children, six months onwards. What he is saying is that growing up milk is not follow-up formula. Okay? So there's a different definition for growing up milk. And he referred to the... He referred to... Go to the fourth page. Huh? Item 395. He said there's no law defined for growing up milk. This is what 395, he said in his press conference, 395, he, he, we should be using 395. But essentially, 395 is food not elsewhere standardized. That means no, there's no set law on growing up milk. There's a law on follow-on milk, but there's no law on growing up milk. Now, if you look at the box, huh, the one Malaysia milk powder box, it clearly says satu tahun ke atas. Okay, satu tahun ke atas. So how much difference is growing up milk from follow up milk, follow on milk? Both are for children, very young children, one year old. Okay, why is it there's a standard for follow on milk? And there's a different standard which is not defined for growing up milk. That to me seems contradictory. Okay? So he's basically saying I use the wrong law but I don't understand why is there such a big difference. And if you look at item 6, item 5 of clause 395, food not elsewhere standardized shall not be described or presented in such a manner as is suggestive of another article of food which it is intended to be an in imitation or substitute or which it resembles. That means you cannot sell a product and claim it similar to another product and then say it is not standardized. If it is something similar to another product that is supposed to be a substitute, then you have to use the follow-on formula regulation. Now that's one, one, one point. But more important point, that is raised by the minister. Okay? It says that their lab test findings. Okay? The one Malaysia growing up milk powder has 3,240 international units, IU, per 100 gram. Okay? Per 100 gram. Now, the law, so what, what, they, then he says that this doesn't exceed 5,000 IU per day as required, as, as, as provided in the law. Okay, this law is actually stated in the second, uh, the third page, basically table 3 of the 12th schedule. 3 of the 12th schedule. You see the vitamin A there? And then there's a 5,000 IU next to it. Right? You see that, right? You see the 5,000 IU, right? Okay, he says that 3,240 IUs per 100 gram does not exceed this 5,000. Hang on. Okay, 5,000. But, he also read the table wrong. Okay, the table doesn't say 5,000 IU per 100 gram. The table says 5,000 IU IU maximum amount in recommended daily serving 5000 IU per day not per 100 gram there's a lot of difference 
Because you could be consuming 500 grams a day. Which is the case for the milk powder. Okay, the milk powder, if you look at the, 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 the serving suggestion, uh, you see the four teaspoons, the four spoons in the milk, each spoon is 30 grams. You may want to jot this down. Each spoon is 30 grams, four spoon is 120 grams. Okay, and daily recommended serving is four times a day. Four times 120 is 480 grams a day. So based on his lab test of 3,240 IU per 100 gram, that works out to 16,416 international units per day. Well above the 5,000 IU per day of vitamin A. And we must remember, 5,000 IU per day is the maximum limit for adults. Not for young children, eh? and that's why follow-on formula have a different law. And yet, this still exceeds the total international units allowed per day. Okay, so he has to clarify. Two points: Why is there a difference between growing up milk and follow-on milk? And second point: He says there's no overdose of vitamin A, but his calculation seems to be flawed. Okay, he told people, uh, KRIM growing up milk powder had 3,240 IU per 100 gram. This was reported in the Star and Malaysia Kini. So I assume he was not misquoted. <laughs> okay? And we look at the law, as I printed for you, all backed by evidence on. We don't make simply make claims. Vitamin A is 5,000 IU, maximum amount in recommended daily serving. Maximum. Okay? And based on the serving suggestions by the milk, Powder written here. What the one Malaysia milk powder provides is 16,416 IU per day. More than three times above the legal limit. Akan oleh menteri dan karena itu kita gesa menteri untuk datang bersetuju mengadakan dialog dengan pihak kami supaya kita dapat bandingkan keputusan-keputusan yang didapati menerusi makmal dan pakar-pakar makanan. Ini satu yang penting kerana kalau bercakap tentang track record menteri, saya rujuk kepada kesilapan beliau semasa dalam kejadian di mana gas pemendih mata ditembak ke arah kawasan premis hotel Tung Shin. Pada ketika itu, menteri telah tanpa soal selidik merujuk kepada kenyataan badan-badan pengarah Hospital Tung Shin blindly quoting without doing his own homework pada ketika itu sampailah terpaksa wujud laporan daripada pihak polis ya, dan juga Kementerian Kesihatan baru membuktikan kesemua dakwaan yang dibuat oleh peserta demonstrasi bersih 9 Julai 2011 di perkarangan Hospital Tung Shin yang ditembak dengan gas pemedih mata sehingga seorang korporal dikenakan tindakan. Jadi ini menterinya, ini menteri kesihatannya. Dalam kes ini sama juga. Saya fikir penyelesaian menteri wajib beri ruang pada kami untuk menjelaskan hal sebenar kepada semua pengguna Malaysia. Dalam mana-mana negara lain mereka akan malu dah pasal sos tiram terbukti. That means the ministry had to admit, yes, this was a mistake. 40 million has been done, has been spent, dah keluar dah pengguna-pengguna Malaysia. Hanya mereka bernasib baik, rakyat Malaysia tak suka saman. Kerana banyak yang berlaku yang salah di sini. Tambahan lagi, kerana Menteri mengatakan kita, ahli-ahli parlimen daripada Lembah Pantai, PJ Utara dan juga Kuala Selangor, mempolitikkan hal ini. Tak nak bagi pada kementerian dulu, tak nak kerjasama, terus pergi pada media. Saya nak bagi tahu bahawa Association of Standard Users Malaysia juga pergi kepada media mendedahkan bahawa dalam krim cili sos, sos cili keluaran krim juga mempunyai kandungan metal atau pelumbum eh, yang plumbum dan plumbum dan melebihi daripada had yang ditetapkan atau dibenarkan. Jadi adakah mereka juga mempolitikkan isu ini? Jadi pada saya kita minta dalam masa 24 jam menteri juga jawab kerana selasa dah tak banyak masa lagi hari Isnin awal Muharram. 
Jadi inilah penyelesaiannya Saya fikir pihak media dapat membantu kami Kerana akhirnya You know, we don't get anything from this We just want to make sure The kids out there Specifically on the issue of the growing up formula Both of us I don't know what baby Chong Do you have small kids? Yeah. Yes yeah. All three of us We have so, Okay, like, whatever it is, okay We have small children You know, so I think it's only important For all of us to make sure Whatever is being issued Especially when it is sanctioned Sponsored by the ministry and the government of Malaysia must be in accordance of its own rules. So now there's a dispute. The most honourable, honourable thing to do is to have that dialogue in Parliament.